Hello. It is not 90 seconds. The grace period is not 90 seconds. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, pardon me. Oh, I wish the grace period was 90 seconds. What a pain. All right, let's just fix that. Uh, well, I'll, I'll work that out. Um, ah, jeez, I gotta get all my other stuff reopened. One moment, one moment. Ah, uh, I should have a little, a little program. I should have a little program that, uh, that tells me to restart my computer before I start a stream. Hang on, I gotta repost this everywhere. Almost done. Ah. I've, I've lost all my energy to stream. I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, there was one... There was one... There was one shot. One opportunity. I missed it. It's over. The energy is dead. The vibes are gone. That's a lie. Anyway... It, there we go. That's moving a little bit smoother. Anyway, yeah, uh, a night stuck at work with no, literally nothing to happen, buddy. Uh, <laughs> things are barely happening here. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, video games. <clears throat> I'm having just having some problems. Uh, let's turn on the, let's turn on the, let's turn on the sidebar here. There we go. Favorite, no. It sucks. I, uh, I had a, several games all teed up, and then several things went wrong. 90, okay, I need to go to the 1987 di district. 86, 87, there we go. I am almost back to where I was. Ooh, that looks interesting. Oh, shoot off construction kit. Hell no, I got no time for anything made in one of those. Uh, that's probably crap as well. Where's the game I was play or I was going to play? Is that Dizzy? No, it's Crazy Paving. Oh, that looks interesting, though. Uh, oh. Okay. Huh. That, was, uh, that might be something. Yeah, as I understand it, Vampire Survivors is, like, uh, potentially going to get gaudy probably everywhere by everyone. Because apparently it just absolutely slaps. It's not at all my kind of game, but for everyone for whom it is their kind of game, it apparently is is just absolutely the business. Oh, that's why my window didn't seem to be the right width. Uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Ah, dang it! Everything got all messed up again. Ah, I I just can't win for losing. There we go. We're almost back. Soon we'll play a game. Oh, in fact, this is... Okay, here we go. This is where I was before. Love to computer. Let's start with crazy paving. Also, I realized that my game audio was... Whoa! I was just about to say my game audio was a little toasty in the last stream. Uh, and then I had my headphones turned up. Just about blew myself through the back of my chair here. Uh, I am not using my newly acquired Commodore 128 for a variety of reasons. Um, I mean, I I have it. It's there. But in addition to uh, the process of loading 
software, even via the SD to IEC, is just so tedious. I just hate doing it. Unless I have a specific reason. Unless I know the game is good. And the whole point here is to explore a library of games that mostly suck. Uh, but the other thing is... It'd be too tedious for me to demonstrate this right now. Uh, but the uh, Commodore 128 runs some games, such as Comic Bakery, I found out, at double speed. Which it's not supposed to do. So, yeah, compatibility issues. All right. Let's play at least one video game. Loading. Loading. There we go. <laughs> wow, lamer. That's old school. Yeah, I do want loads of lives. Oh, man. This is one of those lifeless C64 uh, uh, title screens. Gosh, that, that color palette. Oh. All right, what are we? Whoa. That's not what I was expecting. Wow, four directions scrolling on the Commodore 64. All right. Whoa. Yeah, so naturally this... Uh, this is a European game, so the enemies don't have to honor any collision, you know. Wait, wait, am I supposed to be able to get through this gate? Did I just glitch it? Much of this game is in incomprehensible. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not sure where the paving part comes in. Uh, yeah, this is weird. I seem to have a meter down there of some kind, but it doesn't appear to be ammo. And, uh, it's not life, certainly, because things could just kill my ass. There, finally, I killed something. Uh, a victory. I think that's a pond, but even that blocks my shots. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh my god. Uh, wow, this is, this is ambitious, but not very good. Like, why, why don't the enemies... <sighs> Wait a minute. Sorry, I picked up a key, and it made the other key I had go away. This is the worst kind of crap. Yep, there we go. Collision is kind of a, a suggestion in this. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I assume if I take that key that the spider is going to attack me. There also seem to be bees everywhere, so that's good. Um, there's an awful lot of bees everywhere, in fact. There we go. I think I really did glitch through that gate earlier. I don't think I was supposed to be able to go through there. You have to press fire to pick things up, which of course also makes you fire. So that's right. Oh, 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 man, my character is named Howard. That's all the info I have. Oh my god, this is... <sighs> yeah, it's... It's almost cool until you realize that... It's interesting they made like a big... Uh... <sighs> Sorry, let me... Oh my god, I've got a time gauge that's working its way down. Of course I do. It's cool at first we realize, oh, it scrolls. Oh, there's a much larger world here that is immediately appar apparent. Oh, the, you know, sprite work is actually kind of intriguing. And there's a number of items. And, like, the action is, is quite responsive. Like, it's not, it's not dropping inputs. It's not like, I press the fire button, but he does not fire. None of that's happening. Um, that's it, seemingly appealing. But then you realize that, one, everything kills you. There's not really any way to prevent this. To wit. 
Everything kills you. There's not really any way to avoid anything. It all moves too fast. And yeah, there's a, a world that's much larger than it appears, but it's just the same thing over and over with no logic to it. There's no like clever mazes. Uh, there's no interesting combinations of, of, of items. There's no uh, puzzles. You know, all you're doing, it, it's, a, it's like a hidden object game where like your input into it is just, there's, there's no... There's no diegetic meaning to anything you're seeing. It's just... How do you do level design for a game like this? I don't get it. When there's no theme to the levels, when there's no meaning to it, how do you design a level when nothing in the level means anything? I don't get that. Apparently John Romero was good at it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Stark is, is right. Um, an awful... What... An awful lot of video games from this era um, used uh, Windows in order to avoid having to update the entire screen. Holy crap. This is utter chaos. This kind of rocks. So I am the little red dude that just entered the center area there. Okay, I've got infinite ammo, it looks like. Uh... I think I'm attacking... I think I'm fighting cats. I think I was getting hit by my own bullets because they honor the screen wrap around. Yeah, that is exactly correct. I just killed myself by accident. Holy crap, this rules. This actually... Uh, this actually is quite dope. It appears that Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Oh, thank you for the $10. Uh, thanks to my stream setup, I have no idea who that was, so you'll have to tell me. If, if, if you, if you care. If you like. We could just, we could just pretend it came from nobody. Uh, we could pretend that Miku donated. Wah. Man, what a weird gameplay uh, detail, you know? Wah! Wah! I'm not sure what the win condition is. I've definitely reduced the number of enemies, but I don't know if I could reduce them to zero, or if that's my goal, or if I'm trying to hit a particular, like, point value, or what? Like, what? what's the, what's the goal here? Um... Oh, come on. Wait, am I... Am I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to be collecting those. Wait, was that the goal all along? Is this a Pac-Man? Oh! Whoa! Yeah, that green dude is... Yeah, it's, it's a two-player game. And yeah, I'm starting to think maybe you're right. Maybe this is a versus. Anyway, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in terms of like, this has that Robotron energy to it. This is like some Jeff Minter bullshit. Wait, are there other dudes with guns in this one? There are. There's rival gun havers. Whoops, I walked into one. Uh, okay, and then there's some of the... Oh, so I think like the enemies can kind of eat the pickups. There we go. I killed player two. Dang it. Oh, wow. This was a type-in game. This was published in the December 1988 issue of Computer Gazette. Wow. 
All right. Well, we've seen all there is to see, but it's pretty dope. That was Crossroads 2 Pandemonium. Yeah. What if Pac-Man had a gun? I've been thinking about this for years. Yeah, really good name. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Whole thing, just completely solid. Uh, I was also going to try out... Well, I wasn't going to try Dead Zone, but I might now. I was going to try Dead Ringer. Oh, interesting. This uh, it uh, this launched with C Display X. I wonder what that's going to do. Wow, Federation against copyright. Um, wow, that their abbreviation sure looks like uh, that's uh, yeah, huh? <laughs> sure. Better save a picture of that. All right. Uh, okay, now that is a title screen that's comprehensible. I can see exactly what's going on here, and it's bad as hell. I love the strange things happen on the screen when games of this era load. I'm going to undo Unlimited Shield and then space to continue. Oh, I thought this music was going to bang, but it doesn't bang, I'm afraid. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Okay. I kind of feel like there's a, yeah, like it's meant to be kind of a footloose business going on here. Um, all right. Stay alive until time runs out. Bonus for killing the computer. Oh, no. What? So I had read that this was like a first person racing game and I thought it was going to be like an F-Zero. I don't really understand what I'm looking at here. I can shoot. I can turn. Oh, wait. Am I supposed... Do I need to accelerate? Is that the problem? I think I'm still going forward, even though I'm not going very fast. I seem to be out of ammo. Okay, so I've got limited ammo. But what's weird is I can, like... I can turn... But it... What? I cannot comprehend. Wait a minute. Oh! Wait, I think I get it. I'm on a Taurus. I'm on a Taurus. And I'm scooting sideways around the Taurus. Wah! That is wild. I mean, I get it. I see what they're doing. They couldn't actually render this the way that, like, uh... They, they couldn't actually make, like, a, uh, a pull position as such. But they could do this. Okay, this is not a good game, 
Not a good game. It is interesting. I'm going to mark that with the fave heart because what the hell? Yeah. Oh. All right. Okay. I love how a bunch of these cracking groups put these text scrollers in there with the gradient that makes them unreadable. That text at the bottom sucks. Hey, 100. Oh, that previous game was called Dead Zone. You know what? I'm going to do something. Um, do I have options to... Oh, no, I don't. The copy of RetroArch, like the... The pre-configured RetroArch that comes with C64 Dreams leaves a lot to be desired. Um, it does a lot of aggressive things. You know what? I'm going to close that for a second. I'm going to make a, an adjustment to my layout here, if you'll all bear with me for a moment. Uh, let's dub that. Pasty duplicate. Okay. Put that there. Okay, and then we're going to scrunch that down like that. Okay. There we go. You will now find uh, the current game, or at least the last one I selected, available in the upper right corner of the stream. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That last one was not Dead Zone. That last one was Dead Ringer. Okay, there we go. Let's restart Dead Zone, which was the next thing I was going to play. All right. Oh, wow. I think the... Uh, the left stick of my uh, Xbox One gamepad here is much weaker than the right. Uh, and I believe that uh, my inputs caused the game to not boot. There we go. There's so many loaders that are far more interesting than the game they're loading for. Speaking of which, is this going to load? Hmm. I don't know if this is going to load. He says. Zedone. Okay. All right. This was one filed by Carmody. Thanks, Carmody. Uh, not infinite shields. No. No. All right. Ugh. This music is not as good as the loader. Ugh. Not very good at all. Whoa. Okay, what do we got here? I had to actually manually walk in and get in my plane. Oh, wow. You have to manually launch. Awesome! That's such a great way to begin a game. All all shmups should require you to do this. Oh, but this does not look like a very good one, is the thing.
Man, I don't know. And I think we've just seen the game. And yeah, apparently uh, the trainer offered an option to always leave hangar, presumably because this gets old fast. How do I... Do I have to get in the rightmost one? Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> There's one valid pixel. If you're off that pixel, you don't lunch. Lunch. I said lunch. Okay, this game's not very good, unfortunately. I wish that it was good, but it isn't good. Daily Thompson Olympic Challenge. Uh, Krillian. Oh, weird. So this is manual breakout. <laughs> well, that guy sure has a dick for a nose. Uh, I no longer have my oops button, and I'm not terribly concerned about that particular diagram. Uh, I think we'll be fine. So yeah, so this is a breakout clone, but there's no paddle. You control the ball yourself. Oh, what? Okay, additionally... Uh, I've seen this before. I can't remember what game did this, but you could change the color of the ball, and you can only break one color at a time. That sound effect is very annoying. Huh. Now what? Huh. It's so windy. Uh, how am I supposed to do the... What do I do at the end, then? Why is this the sound they picked? There's so many questions. Now what? Now what? What do I do? It must be the case that the pink ball is able to destroy the pink asterisk ball. That's got to be the case, but like...
わー What do I do? What do you want from me? I think I tried hitting it with white, but I'll, I'll try again. Maybe I didn't. But I tried that. I destroyed all the blocks, and then I hit the star block. What do I... And why are there two colors up here that we don't actually have? And what is with the wind noise? No, it's, 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 um, it keeps score, and it's got, no, there's something going on here. Hang on, let me restart it. So you can select a level here. I guess I'll pick a later one. Uh, I'm screwed. I can now never finish it. Wow. Naturally, this gets extremely brutal. That part's pretty cool. Definitely like that, but... Uh, th I don't think they wink. I think it's just that they reused the single color palette entry. Um... Wow, this is phenomenally hard. Alright, well... Uh, I'm not gonna mark that one to come back to. I don't think it's very good. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, huh. Combat crazy. You'd have to be crazy to be in combat. Everyone who's ever died for their country was a clown. Uh, do we do this with the joystick? No. Do we do it here? No. Do we do it there? No. How about there? There we go. Uh, timer stop. Alright. Alright, what do we got? Okay. It's pretty dope. I'm grabbing a drink. I'll be right back.
Yeah, I don't know why it's called two different names. Maybe it's a regional thing, but that doesn't make any sense. Because this game was made somewhere in Europe, and for some reason, no European game dev was willing to come up with an enemy other than random real-world animal that can kill you instantly? <sighs> Alright. Oh, please tell me those random poofs that will instantly kill you, and there's nothing you can do about it. There we go. Okay, do I have limited ammo? Doesn't seem that way. I have grenades. I pressed spacebar and it just killed me. Hmm. Not, not sure how to use the grenades. Might need it. Wah! Wah! What happened? The, the sharp edge of a tree killed me? What? What am I... What? Picked up A. Is that some ass? Oh, that's rapid fire. Okay. Uh, there's no limit to these guys, is there? Oh. Hmm, maybe there was. This feels like a game made by somebody who had seen an NES game before. I mean, for Christ's sake, you've actually got a health bar. I mean, come on. Okay, again. Is there any limit here? Oh, I finally figured out how to throw grenades. Look at that. Yes, yeah, so you crouch and then hold fire. Yeah, I guess they just don't ever end. Cool, I've got shields. Some tree trunks are solid and some aren't. There's no way to tell except just by running into them. There we go. Man. Uh, this isn't very good. This one's not very good. Like, I see... Again, I feel like there's a bunch of games where... You could look at them and go, Oh, man, this one's really good. Like, all things considered. But what you're really saying is... This looks more like an NES game than har almost anything else I've ever seen on here. But if you try and process it more critically, it's not actually any good. No, this is Commodore 64. Um, ooh, boy, that is a cold beer. That's what I get for putting it in the freezer. Does that say Beastie Boys?
Music's all right. Yeah, the tune's pretty good. The visuals are horrible. Uh, Parker, yes, there's literally a group called that. No intro. That's literally a cracking group that like gets rid of cracks. I don't know if they actually remove them or if they just try and redump games and, and distribute them without the cracks. But yeah, it's literally, that's why it exists. Oh, Lord. Wow. Do you want to cheat? Oh, of course. For once, this game might actually be better than the, uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So this is a bot that just does this. Huh. I guess there's not much you can do about it other than wait and see if it goes away. Hmm. Cool. Bear with me for a moment. Hopefully this hopefully this ends. Usually these bots give up. It doesn't matter. They have thousands of accounts. Like this, there's no person here. This is this is somebody who registered like five thousand accounts, and they just have a bot that walks through random live channels and just does this. Um, so, yeah. See, I mean, you you can ban them as many times as you want. They'll just come back. There's no no moderation tools. Um, you know, I guess I could probably get that 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 um, YouTube mod tool thing, but uh, it's more trouble than it's worth. <sighs> I guess uh, whatever. I guess we don't get to chat anymore. Whatever. I am now realizing that I recognize the name of this game. Oh God. This music is really horrible. This game sucks ass. Give me a second. This probably isn't going to work, but... There we go. So, there is supposed to be a... Um, a ban word option. Um, I doubt it's going to work. But uh, I did apply it, so let's... Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that game sucked ass. Uh, what else we got? Uh, that was just a side shmup. What I call a shmover. Because you shoot them over rather than shooting them up. <laughs> okay. I don't care if this game... Yeah, this game's not very good. Um, what, matters, what matters is... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the cover of this game is incredible. Look at that. Okay, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, you can just you can ban whatever words you want. You ban as many users as you want. That that's somebody who's just they've set up. They they know how this works. 
Um, all right. Well, I guess I'll just stop streaming. They win. The thing about harassment on the internet is that the reason people do it is because it works. Because why wouldn't it? It's never worth it. Um, so, yeah, of course they win. Why wouldn't they? The whole point is to make things not fun, and they've successfully made this not fun. So... It's okay. These C64 games aren't fun either. I mean, even if they did care, what what do you suggest they do about it? Like, what what would the solution be if you could come up with one? Like, in your wildest dreams, what would the solution be? I'm open to suggestions. I can't imagine how it could possibly work. People are always talking about, oh, they got, they got to solve the problem. They got to fix the spam problem. How? It's literally millions of bots operating from millions of IPs with millions of accounts and millions of email providers. How could they possibly do anything about it? Yeah, no point. I mean, it doesn't help any that none of the games I'm finding tonight look any good. Like, I'm flipping through these, and just like, these all look like shit. Man, Nebulous. This game got ported to every single platform imaginable um, so many times for so many years, and uh, it was never any good, but boy howdy did it ever get ported to everything. And you always, like, you start it up and you go like, oh wow, this looks pretty cool. Um, but it's not, actually. <laughs> Um, every time I see it, I'm just like, oh, it's that game. And for just a split second, I think I should play that. And I remember that it's not very much fun. I mean, Ziganox, I, I, I will repeat, on IRC, how would you solve this problem? I mean, it's just not 1990 anymore. I mean, it doesn't work for a public platform. Like, the whole point is that random people are supposed to be able to come by and watch. So. Really, though, I can't find any games that look worth playing. God, these all suck. It's just like a whole bunch of ports. I like land in the middle of like the games I've seen section. Let's um here, let's jump to here we go. 84. I was in 87. Oh yeah, immediately. Much worse games. I'm launching Gates of Dawn. <laughs> Twist away the Gates of Dawn. No, I don't think that's it. <sighs> A tankered world funeral production. Wow, that's an incredible name.
Oh, that's weird. There's like a little clipboard icon on the lower left. Oh, that's probably telling me that there's a manual available for this one. Um, a normal set of lives. Uh, left button is switch current item. Huh, cool. That's kind of annoying, the music. I don't expect this game to be good either. I'm just really curious, like, what exactly it is. Oh, man, this is some uh, 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 Temple of Apshai. Is that what it is? Uh, shit. Look at how crunchy this dude is. This is such a crunchy dude. <laughs> when you walk into the wall, he's just... All right, what do we got? Oh, he gets bigger and smaller. <laughs> what? What the hell? Aug What? This is dope as hell, but also bad. <laughs> Forearm yourself against the foe. Are we are we playing like a modern like uh 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 I did it. I feel like we're playing um the Stanley Parable or something. This might be the best game we play tonight. I'm just gonna put my sword up. Ah, uh, it's not working. Where? So I'm guessing this is proc gen and probably like this will just kind of go for... Oh, wait, no, there's a map up there, isn't there? Whoa. There's a Shrek in this room. I won. I suspect this is a roguelike. Oh, we got a diamond. There's a mushroom in this room. Yeah, this game slaps really, really hard in in the way where I'm not going to play it ever again. The Gates of Dawn. We are playing Gates of Dawn here. It's LSD Dream Simulator shit. Wait, did I get past the... Wait, I thought I got past the balls for a second. get a whole cycle if I just... Oh, I see. Oh! Bonk. 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 I see. So the first couple are actually not on this side. This 
is so good. Okay, let me read the description. The player controls a knight and must discover the mystery of the mind. Ah, okay. Uh, you have to collect iron, stone, fire, and ice. You can pass through the gates of dawn. The maze is 64 rooms. Uh, there's a map. Oh, no! No! Go to hell! Okay, I'm going to read this. As the player navigates between rooms, a map in the top right of the screen charts their progress. An arrow below it indicates the direction they are facing, and it is up to the player to keep an eye on this arrow later on in the game. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, the sword can be used to destroy monsters as long as it's at the top of the inventory. The inventory can only hold up to five items. You can examine, drop, or use an item. Pressing the relevant key will present the player with a list of available commands. There's a menu in this? Holy cat. I was trying to say holy crap, but I'm so just, like, stressed out by that game that uh, I almost said holy cow, which would... That would mean I was so stressed out that I became Bart Simpson rude. Okay. I need to relax a little bit. That was a stressful gaming experience. Ugh. Not a heated one, though. All right. Glider pilot. Um, Piter, Piter man. Now I'm thinking about Piter man. Uh, weather selection. I'll just do one. One sounds good. Uh, one sounds good. Uh, no. Uh, okay. All right. We're gliding. Oh, this is a really cute flight simulator. Wow. I wonder how accurate it is. It sure looks like they... Uh... Oh. Well, I think that's a runway. Oh, we are accelerating. Oh, heavens. I need to pull up. Level out, level out. Do I have... Oh, I see. There we go. Wait, no, that's not what I thought it was. I don't think I have an artificial horizon. As far as I can tell. Oh, yeah, sorry, Acrylic. I, I, I didn't quite realize what you were saying. No, it's it's literally not a Dark Soul. Yeah, it is definitely uh, Vintage. Uh, I don't think that Microsoft Flight Simulator came out for this platform. I don't think it had the juice for it. The Apple II did, but I don't think the C64 did. Whoa! The 3D projection in this game leaves a lot to be desired. Wow. Also, the clouds are sort of coming apart at the same... What? What? Wait, what? It said my altitude was 936 feet! Oh! I overstressed the glider? Oh, did they put Sublogic Flight Sim on here? Oh, you know, that's right, because the Apple II had the virtually the same CPU and less RAM, now that I think about it. Oh, crap. This music is so morose. Okay. I'm going to try just descending quickly without turning. Overstress the glider on the first leg of the task. This has got to be French. All right, let's descend at a gentle slope. I don't know, I think this is British. 
was written by Richard Brisborne. Why exactly are we beeping? No idea what that what that means. Wow. Uh, a new warning. I've never heard that one before. Did we stall? Wow, this is um this is very this is very incomprehensible without the manual. Uh is there a manual? Not in here, no. Alright, well that one's Kind of interesting, but not enough. What else we got? Galactic Muncher. Damn. Oh, okay. This is like a G.I. Joe adventure game? Impressive graphics, but not, not something I want to play. Zing. Gotta see what this is. Maybe, but I don't go looking for specific games. I just uh, I just walk through looking specifically for stuff that's obscure. Oh, it's another Hakuta Force game. Or a uh, crack, I should say. <sighs> yeah, okay. Get that cursor. This is wild for a game from 1984. Music on. Maybe I regret music on. Wow, this game actually has combined music and sound effects. Oh no! Frack! Frack! I fell too far.
There's just a dagger? Frack! Yeah, the big sprites are pretty cool. Ah, it's so easy to du uh, double jump by accident. Are we sick of this music yet? We can't turn it off because uh, what if the second level has better music? This game is too interesting for me to stop playing it just because of the music or the incredibly frustrating difficulty level. I am tempted to restart and to uh, turn on all the cheats. Yeah, why not? Why not? I'm going to mark it interesting, and then I'm going to start it again, and we're going to use every cheat it's got. Uh, the name of the game is always in the right upper right-hand corner of the screen. That one is called... Frack, as in the F word. They're friend shaped, but I wish they were friendly. At, I'm sorry, I don't have a joke. I opened my door a while ago so that the cats would wander in, but they're not wandering in. They must be asleep. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to point out uh, once this starts. Yes, 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 yes. No. One. Vertical mirrored scenes. Big balloons. Swinging balloons. Slower trog. Huh. Difficulty level. I guess that's, those are the anti-cheats. That's true. If I close the door, they will, they will, uh, they will be desperate to get in immediately. Oh, and I think, oh, I've just been sent a picture of Soba sleeping. So I guess the cats are asleep. This is nonsense. All right. Anyway. The other thing I wanted to point out is, check out Hi in the lower left. Hello, everyone. The authors of this game uh, seem like comical people. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Gibbs was a, a good cat. Oh, it doesn't feel right without the music. Not that I want to hear the music, but it doesn't feel right with no music. Oh, by the way, um, the uh, the light bulbs are there uh, because they refill the timer. 
Apparently, the lights will go out otherwise. Dang it! I turned on all the cheats and I still get fracked. I swear that guy wasn't there before. Ah! I turned on all the cheats and I'm still dying! This sucks! Okay, also, so I want to point out, they drew two different sprites. Depending on which direction you're facing, there's two different sprites. Yeah, because he's right-handed. I mean, come on. Authors put in a lot of effort to this game. Having a, a heated frack moment. Oh, this is where I had to come to kill that guy before. Okay. Ugh. I don't actually need the light bulb, so that was a reasonable skip there. I'll be playing this at GDQ next year. Ah, oh, come on! Yeah, keep in head yo-yos. Everyone knows that. Shut up. Uh, Mario owes a lot to Pac-Land. No, oh, it's so hard to avoid that. I don't understand why. Why would they code it like that? Frack! The same trap. But, like, it's not even a trap. It's just the jumping mechanics are so broken. No, it's more than that, because look, his, like, animal skin isn't shaped the same. So, like, the lines are all completely different from left to right. And since there's, like, bits and pieces that change from top to bottom, I really think it's just a completely separate sprite. So, I'm going to step off here, and we're going to step off here. Oh, okay, this is unplayable. All I want is an invulnerability sheet. Yeah, I was trying to... I don't... I don't... I don't like frack. I'm anti-frack. Uh, huh. Okay. <sighs> this is a Pac-Man. Boy, this is a 1984 game that, whoa, looks like a 1982 game. Where well, no. Where? Well. I don't get it. I can't get to that apple. Or that...
You can only fire your laser left and right is the thing. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm definitely on the... Wah! Is there an order of operations for the fruit? Oh, there. Oh, I see. It shows me what order I need to collect it in. Oh, okay. So do they do they always stick to the walls? Is that what it is? Ah, ah, come on. Where, where, where? Cherries. So in a sense, it's actually bad to kill the bats, because then you don't know where they're, or they're gonna spawn somewhere else instead of just continuing their existing like search order. So actually, oof, it's grapes time. Let's go. Where, where? Whoa. Okay, well, at least this is a video game. Compared to several other things we've played even tonight, at least this is a video game. So that's why it's called Forbidden Fruit. Wait, that's a special bat. That bat's new. That's a spider, is what that is. Alright, so every level is going to be exactly the same, I think. Yeah, that's not a very good game. It's a perfectly serviceable arcade game, if that's what you want to do. Oh, uh, I... <laughs> A fistful of bucks, a.k.a. Ein Handvoll Dollars. Ah, uh, Falklands 82. Evil Crown, which I think got ported everything. Oh, that looks horrible. Oh, everyone's a Wally. -E. Didn't I play that on the ZX? Hmm. Oh, this is going to be like an isometric maze game. Yeah. Huh. Oh, God, no! I started this because I saw that it was created and designed by brothers Dave and Bob Thomas. And I thought, oh, cool. It's not, you know... Uh, God, I can't remember the... I, it's not the typical isometric British garbage. And uh, as I was clicking on it, I kept writing the sentence reading the sentence, which went on to say, with ultimate play the game founders Tim and Chris Stamper otherwise uninvolved in development. God damn it! It's still a rare game! Ah! Always ultimate play of the game. Domino Day? Yeah? What are we talking about here? Are we... What you got to what are we talking about here? Domino Day. Clarify. I didn't see it. I don't like any of Rare's games, with the exception of maybe uh Donkey Kong uh, sorry, Donkey Kong Country is good. Other than that, I think everything else sorry and Goldeneye. Everything else they made was crap. They make like they're just it's very British. It's just very, very British. In, in in all the ways that anyone who's seen my uh, uh, my streams before will know, uh, it has all of the bad British game tendencies. Uh, all their games did. Uh, 
I'm just going to start with all items. Yeah, here we go. Wah! Drop my controller. <sighs> Whoa! Okay. I... <laughs> I really like how some C64 games... Oh, that's cute. Huh. Uh, some games from this era will use scaled sprites. So you could tell that, like, my guy is being drawn at, like, the native sprite resolution. But those things are stored in memory at half the resolution, or, or a quarter of the resolution, and are being uh, scaled up. <laughs> yeah, uh, all of Rare's games... I'm sorry, Ultimate Play the Game... Uh, all of their games that were on the like, home computers and the NES and whatnot, I just think they're all crap. I can't enjoy any of them, not in the least. Huh, okay, so... Oh, I see. So you press spacebar to switch between actions, use whip, use torch, jump. I'm not supposed to have those things yet, so I'm, I'm seeing what else we can do. Would it help if I were to jump? No. What if I try and go behind them? That does not work. What about here? No. It looks for all the world like there's a opening behind the statue here. But if there is, I can't seem to go through it. And there's no manual for this game. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, of course, it was well received by critics, naturally. Can I, can I, can I push this? I, I've got to be able to interact with the statue. I have to be. I just can't figure out how. Unless it's like, oh, there's a hidden door that you can't see off screen. Like, that doesn't seem to be it. What about back here? Uh, no, I'm not supposed to have the whip right now. I cheated to get the whip from the beginning. I mean, just for kicks, let's see what it does. There's the whip. Yeah, that doesn't work either. What about the torch? It's not dark here. Uh, poke the eye in the wall. What? What? Oh, why did that work? Creatures! Where? Yep, that's definitely a British video game. Shit just appears out of nowhere and is constantly uh, bouncing up and down across the screen, not having any collision. Oh, wait, you've actually got health? You don't die instantly upon encountering any obstacle? Really? This is the most playable game that Rare ever released. Well, what's... But, but it didn't say anything. What's supposed to be in there? Probably the whip. I'll bet it was, well, either the whip or the torch. Well, well I'm getting hit by boulders. His animation is so smooth. Oh, you know what? Um, I wonder if actually those are supposed to be killing me, but because I cheated, they're not. Listen, I'm not saying there are no good British games. I'm saying that there was an enormous tendency among British game developers to make their games tremendously irritating on purpose. And Rare was as bad about it as anybody, or possibly worse. And... Okay, I'm really liking this one, though, in many ways. Like, I suspect that it is just pretty much as boring as any other isometric maze game. 
Oh, the perspective's rotating. That's what's going on. When I walk to the left, I expect to be able to then go up or down, and it just kept pitching me back into the hallway I came through, and I think it's because... Uh, whenever I talk about like how bad British games are, were on here, everyone's just like, well, there's this game, this game. No, you don't understand. Go back and play any British game on any of these platforms or 95% of what Rare put out for the NES. They are all intensely, intensely infuriating. Yes, there were British developers who knew how to make good games, especially later, but go back and play games from the British game industry like before everything got like larger replaced by American companies, and they're all like this. Enemies just floating all over the screen in sine wave patterns, impossible to avoid, constantly converging on you, so it's impossible to make any progress in the game. Just getting one-shotted by bees and birds, because, yeah, random animals are reasonable enemies. Just have them go like this all over the screen so you can't avoid them, and it takes you 35 tries to get through the first room. Come on! They made that game in 1997. I am talking about the 80s. Come on. <laughs> I have said this. How many times have I said this? I have to explain this every single time. We are playing games from the 80s. I am not talking about the N64. Ugh! Why do I have to explain this every time? No, I'm not inexplicably racist against the British game industry. What, what, what about me would make you think I'm that irrational? <laughs> Christ, of course the Brits can make good games. They made good games then, too. They just had really infuriating tendencies. And, and the quality of the games, like, from a programming standpoint, was amazing. That was what was so infuriating about them. You'd fire up a game and go, wow, this looks incredible. And then five minutes later, you throw the tape out the window. Yes, that is my take. <laughs> Sorry, Steve, I'm not angry at you. I just, I just, every time I say this, I'm just like, uh... It, it's, it just gets frustrating because I just have to keep explaining it over and over. But also, like, the other thing is, whenever, like, most of the time when I do this, there's, like, three Brits who just start going, yeah, yeah, the games were awful. We all hated them. <laughs> That's the thing. Most of the British people I've talked to are just like, yeah, all the games we had back then were horrible, and when I got an NES, it was it was just a, a night and day, and suddenly I started actually enjoying video games. Right. Right. That's the other thing. Like, um, oh, hey, everyone. Big news. Someone woke up. Hello. 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 How are you? Yeah, Lynx, I've actually, shockingly, I've never heard that explanation before. Because, yeah, arcade games, arcade games were hard, but in a very specific way. Um, and... What's always been said to me is that British games were hard because they were selling to the British public who got had, you know, at their best, like a five pound a month allowance to spend on games. Uh, and so whatever they got had to last them, you know, months and months with, uh, you know, not very much on the market. And um, that explanation makes some sense to me. You know, I get that, especially given the inability to pack gobs and gobs of content onto a cassette because they just didn't have that much storage. Um, like, so I, I get it. And, and that's the thing. Yeah, Acrylic, you're completely right. Like, um, the, uh, the thing about the C64, the reason, I mean, I, I feel like the number of games that I found on the C64 that I have marked interesting and actually wanted to come back and play or to, like, talk about in depth has been minuscule compared to the quantity on the ZX. Um, I don't 
know what it is about it because it's a superior platform in a lot of ways. It's got more colors. It's got more capabilities. It's got better sound. It's got a better, you know, um, better display, uh, 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 or sorry, better um, input options. You know, it's just a better computer in every sense and it's capable of making better games but for some reason i just seem to only find crap whenever i whenever i try it and um very few games that are are really really great um or really uh, i i found plenty of games on the zx spectrum that have well implemented input like where you press buttons and it doesn't like drop inputs um oh uh concrete uh the apple 2gs is such a dope platform that i actually keep that mf thang on me like <laughs> i love the 2gs in fact um i need to retrieve my uh uh, BMOW floppy emulator from the office and bring it home uh, so I can spin this guy up again because uh, I haven't given it uh, all the due it deserves. Uh, it, uh, oh man, it's such a cool platform. Uh, let's see, do I have, I'm trying to remember, do I have any upgrades in here? I don't think so. It's also one of the easiest computers to open. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you know what? I'm suddenly realizing this power supply is like the size of the Apple II power supply. <sighs> I love just being around the 2GS. It's, um... Oh my god, there's a battery in there? Holy crap. Hold on, everybody. Hang on. I'm on my way. How do I get the power supply out? Hold on, I'm coming. I'm gonna get you out of there. Oh, you poor deer. Gosh. Who would put a battery in a computer? Um... You know, I wonder if this is a modern battery. Maybe I replaced it. It might not be a crisis. Um, uno momento. Uh, all right. Oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. No, you're coming out of there. Oh, a crisis averted. Oh, gosh. So it's actually, um, it's a, what brand is this? Sonner Shame? Something like that. Um, it's just your typical half A. Um, SL150, lithium. Oh. Wait, made in West Germany? Oh, okay, yeah, because the expiration on here seems to be 1990. So yeah, made in West Germany uh, would make sense. It had not started leaking, but I'm very lucky that it hadn't. Put that aside, open the drawer, get on the floor. Everybody, uh, walk to your nearest store and buy a replacement battery for all your computers that have batteries in them. Or just take it out and not have one until and unless you're ready to use the thing. Because my 2GS is currently working perfectly, and if I had not taken a look in there, then I may not have ever seen it work again. Where are my half double A's? Um, well, that's not it. That's a Panasonic photo lithium. That's not what we want. Okay, I'm going to have to order one. But, uh, oh, geez, a bullet dodged. <sighs> Let me get on the Amazon. Go order, order one of these damn things. Ooh. Uh, the solder pads for the 2E. Solder pads for the 2, uh, 2E keyboard connector. Um, I wouldn't, I don't know. I'm looking at the board. Do I see any bare pads? <sighs> Offhand, I'm not seeing any. You know what, though? This thing is dusty. It's got some dust going on there. Soba, don't come in and stand directly behind my chair. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. I need to roll. We're rolling now. Uh... 
Soba, your tail. Don't put it under the wheels. Come on. Uh, where is the duster? There it is. I'm gonna mute my mic. Okay, no dust came out when I did that, but Soba did not like it. Are you okay, honey? Would you like to go up? Uppies? Oh, I guess there is nowhere to go up, is there? Let me move this mic. Uh, put that over there. Aren't you going to get in the drawer? Get in the drawer. You love drawer. The drawer probably doesn't love it, but... Anyway. Oh, geez. Um... Let's see. Let's let's get this thing back together. Uh, put the battery holder back on. Gosh, 19. If it if it was set to expire in 1990, then that battery must have been made in like 1987, 1986, something like that. Uh, so, yeah, last legs. Uh, how do I get this? How does this damn power supply go in? Oh, it's upside down. There we go. Whoa, that is a weird... What? What? How did... I, I took this power supply out. How do I put it back in? I guess I should pop the power connector out. There we go. There we go. Uh, clunk. All right, all right. And I mean, to wit, uh, yeah, I mean, good thing you mentioned your, your Apple II GS, but really, this should, you know, we should just have a, a periodic call to action to just go open up every computer you've got, look for the batteries, pull them out. Damn things are treacherous. All right, is this back together? No, I missed the notch. Let's try again. Eh. The 2GS is not an amazing platform in terms of what you can get for it. Uh, I don't think it really got much of that much interest. But, there we go. But, uh, in terms of being just very, very cool, I love it. Oh, there we go. I sneezed and upset Soba. She wants to go in. Do you see? Soba. Soba kitten. You want to come up? Nope. You're going to scritch? Uh, do I not have a bag or a box you can get in? Hey. This one. You can get in this one. There you go. In. You can get in. Let's see if she gets in. Come on, I know you I know you know that's in. Don't just rub. Get in. You know what? Actually, I don't want you to get on this particular shirt. I'm gonna take that shirt out. There you go. You can get on the other one though. Here. In. Why don't you ever do what I want? Oh right. Kitty. That's what they're all about. Uh, a ROM 1 or a ROM 3? I think it's a ROM 3. I seem to recall it being a ROM 3. <laughs> uh, everybody should have a, a sneeze button for their mic. Everyone deserves, everyone needs an automobile, even the very tall. This is the only microphone sneeze button I could afford. <sighs> okay, I'm going to force the issue in. And now that she's in, she'll probably settle down. No? You gonna go out? Nope, there we go. Sit. Ah, I see. Well, um... What are you doing in there? You messing up my shirt? Uh, if it turns out to be a ROM 1, I will try to remember to uh, post something about that. <clears throat> I'm trying to disregard her so that she'll... Uh, She'll uh, she'll calm down. Let's let's get this crack music back.
Oh, yeah, my 2GS is mine. Oh, no, there she goes. All right, show's over, folks. But not literally. Let's let's play a video game. All right. A Fistful of Buckus. You're not wrong, Flemish Dog. <laughs> ah, the ocean loader. Yes. Yes. Safe from cowboys and bullets. Cowboys and bullets aren't real and they can't hurt you. Toe tapping music. <laughs> oh my god, the experience of 1980s home computer games could not be better encapsulated. It's impossible to win. Oh my god, they fire so fast. There's no way to win. This is so bad. Wait, there's two game modes? What? Damn it. Wait, what's with the discontinuity in my bullets up there? What's that about? You can fall off the edge. Come on. Oh, wait. Is that... <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, I guess I have to let it drag me back a little bit. She saw on my mill till I, um, something. Ugh. Wait, how am I supposed to make that one then? Uh, so that, to my, I, aren't you supposed to be able to see when someone makes a clip? I thought you were, but I think that's a Twitch feature they just never actually brought over to YouTube correctly. Okay, Bowen, that's pretty funny. So if we jump this way, what? No money. Even the sawdust will kill you. Ah, 
I gotta admit, the music, despite being what it is, kinda bangs. Ah! They do look like turds, I'll agree. Keep forgetting that the sawdust could hurt you. <sighs> but how am I supposed to get out of this predicament? Because if I jump, I can't make it past the dingus. Plus, what is that dingus? Wait, can I just step to the right? Nope. It's just a jump to the left. What the hell is the strategy here? No, you can't shoot in this scene. Oh, that's weird. I tried to jump to the right. It's possible to jump straight up, but I don't see why you would ever do it. I guess just to avoid something that's about to hit you. I can't find a way to land on top of the brick wall, because this is a, an old game, so you have no control over your jump physics. I never thought about whether I could stand on the logs. Maybe I can stand on them. If I get hit by the end of them, I die, but maybe I can stand on them. I've never tried that. Are we all having a blast yet? Okay. Thusly. Nope! <laughs> Somebody told me they had to see a fistful of bucks. Someone told me I had to play a fistful of bucks. Well, now you're getting what you asked for. <laughs> Holy shit! wild what would the strategy be here like if i go down here and jump this is incredible what what is the strategy all right let's see what other hell exists in yeah what else awaits us <laughs> all right can we go this way no you fool Oh, I think the reason my bullets show up like that is because I have, uh, like, uh, 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 what's the word? W Blue Sky Lives. Like, I've got hacked bullet quantity. Yeah? Am I, what's the goal here? Hello, Soba. You're back. Holy shit. No, there has to be a way to, eat, like, double jump or... Let me read the... I need to read the manual. A fistful of bucks. C64. Manual. I'm going to watch a YouTube video so I'm playing this. I can't easily show it to you. Bear with me. 
I'm watching the video. Um, okay. Oh, but this says gameplay. It's not necessarily a walkthrough. So maybe they don't figure it out. Nope, they did not figure it out. No, they're just as lost as... This person's just as lost as I am. And, like, there's no progression mechanics, I don't think, so... Uh, this is incredible. A fistful of bucks. Man. Um, nobody even has the manual for this. This is amazing. If you want to play one of the most annoying games of all time, then try a fistful of bucks. It's guaranteed to do you in. Oh. I'm I'm actually kind of um I'm kind of captivated. Like I want to know what am I supposed to do here? Nobody has a manual. Can I buy a copy? I'm going to eBay. A fistful of bucks. Uh, no, no results. How about a fistful of bucks ZX Spectrum? Did it get ported? No. Okay. I'm marking this interesting because this is, yeah, yeah, nobody else could figure it out. This is incredible. This is, uh, this, uh, Eek Pie, this is for the Commodore 64. It is a C64 exclusive made by someone called Ian Gray, published uh, by Ocean Software in 1984. And I am, I am blown away. I gotta go rock one. I'll be back. Hello, everyone. 
Uh, hang on, do I still have that? No. Where? Wait. What? Huh. Huh. He said here for egg bug. But what brought that up? Is my egg bug hat somewhere in this image and I forgot? Am I Am I losing it? Where's egg bug? Egg bug? Oh, you just remembered it. Okay. Oh, I was like, I don't know where my egg bug hat is. I would love to. Oh, that reminds me. I got to I gotta go by. Oh, hey, look who's back. Look who, oh, that's, that's my, that's my, that's my little friend. She's here. Uh, gotta go to the ASSC store and buy the mug that says, don't talk to me until I've had my egg bug. There we go. Add to cart. Add to cart. Add to cart. Actually, add, add, add ten of those to cart. There we go. Okay. I'll ring up for those later. All right. All right. Let's do something other than a fistful of bucks. <sighs> Uh, egg mug. Egg mug is the joke. To anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, I will not be explaining. Uh, Enigma Force, uh, Eindaluz, which is presumably the uh, predecessor to Einhander. Whoa. Oh, wait. Does somebody want to... She's chasing the dot, everyone. Everyone, she's chasing the dot. This music sucks. Soba, turn around. It's behind you. She's chasing the dot, everyone. Oh my god, she's going to knock the cabinet over, and it's going to be really funny. Wow! Wow! She's just going for it! Oh, this music is so bad. Oh god, pressing a button didn't make it go away. Cool, it's Colossal Cave Adventure. I'm restarting this. Uh, that camera's gonna fall down? Not that expensive. Wait, who's here? Udon? Udon! What's going on out there? Udon, where are you? Oh, it wasn't Udon at all. It was Sarah. And she just scampered away. This is the uh, cat update channel. Um, <sighs> you have to jump on the smoke clouds while avoiding his arrows and ride them to the top. I'm sorry, that's dumb, and I'm not doing it. <clears throat> All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go, F5. Oh, finally, we're actually playing the game. My Friday has been full of disappointments, but streaming has not been one of them. Well, this is pretty cool. Zip zap. Okay, this game is definitely very intriguing. Whoa, this is from 1984? 
Wah! This is doing some V's shit. Chicken carbonara sub. Yowza! Come on, go, 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 go. There we go. Ah! I wonder if there's limited uh, ammo. Okay, let's try a different direction. This game is masterfully made. Hmm. That's not any kind of irony either. Um, let's see if we go through here again. Goals are good. One interesting thing is that the enemies exist on a separate, like... Oh, wait, I get it. It's sort of like the enemies are sprites and the rest of the game is tiles. And so they're not, um... What the hell? Can I not... What? Uh, what I was going to say is that the enemies move with you. They don't move with the level, as you'd expect. But also you'll notice that my, my sprite for the helicopter is always dead center in the middle of the screen. So basically, they're not doing any of the, the work that it takes to... Wait, is this not timed? Is this not going to go away? I don't think it is. Um, they're not doing any of the, uh, uh, the work to uh, synchronize the sprites with the level. Um, whoa. Wait, so how do I get out? Wah! This is fascinatingly confusing. I love this. Like, what's with the left-right object? That looks like a... That looks like a pickup, but I'm not picking it up. I can't fire upwards, only left, right, and down. This game is fascinating. This would definitely go in my uh, new retro game jam. I think I need to organize at this point. You know, it's funny because the only practical game dev experience that I have is that I re-implemented, um, what is it? What's it called? Uh, Pharaoh's Tomb, or at least chunks of it. Um, I never finished it, but I could have. I wonder if what's going on here is that the key represents a key hole, and I have to find the key somewhere else. Do I have any information about how to play this? Got it! Okay. Alright, so I read a little bit of instructions. And I think I get it now. Oh, dang. Damn piss. What? 
Huh. The player can change the direction of funnels and doors by pressing on levers and arrows with the space bar. And I thought that's what I was doing here. I thought that's what this was for. But I guess not. And we do get the... Oh. So that, um... That noise that plays, the, the, you know, the bomb falling sound, that still, that doesn't happen unless I'm over one of those arrows. So I guess it was doing something. So if we do... So this is supposedly doing something somewhere. I just don't know what or where. Wait, so did I turn off this hallway? Or is that a very low... Maybe it just is a very low... Wah! So I need to restart the game because there actually were instructions and I was just having a lot of cat experiences. Wah! Wah! Where did that come from? What? What? Wah! Wah! Let's restart that. Strategy. Spacebar for contact. Okay, that's all we get. All right. Uno momento. So, Endless is uh, the actual name of it. Let me look this up. Um, I suspect... Again, I suspect that this is a C64 exclusive. Um, huh. Uh, searching for this is not working. Eindelus. I am so something I'm learning is that C64 games can be a lot more obscure than the ZX Spectrum. Every single ZX Spectrum game that I looked up, almost without exception, I was able to find a manual and scans of the the cover and the tape and everything. But for the C64, buddy, a lot of this stuff just doesn't seem to be documented. Hello, Soba. Again, you're back. Again. Um, yeah, there's no real information about this. Um, there's a, Supposedly there's a long play here, but it's only 13 minutes long. Let me scoot through this and see what they, what, if anything, they do. Nothing so far. Wait. Wait, is the problem just that I never thought to press spacebar on the key? Oh, also, those exclamation points are respawn locations, which, for a game from 1984, is extremely uh, ahead of its time. It's really funny that the enemies don't pay any attention to the uh, fields that just get obliterated. Thank you, Lemon64. I really appreciate it. Okay. Oh, maybe it's time-based? It's time-based! Oh, no! That's what's going on! 
That's why I keep getting screwed. A lot of stuff in this is time-based. Let's do nothing. Let's see if that door goes away on its own. Nope. Now if we fly over this, does it go away? Okay. There we go. I think it's a 30 second timer. Wow, that is so vague. Good luck. Good luck figuring that out. I mean, I guess I did, but still. I really like the sword. Oh! Uh, big news, everyone. She is here. I really like the sort of, um,. What? 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 Why? <sighs> Soba. Well, congratulations. There you go, everyone. She's definitely a cat. If you had any doubts. Oh, okay. The reason she's up here is because she wants to play with the feather. And so she's trying to take the feather. Ah, I will retrieve the feather. Get it. Don't leave. Yeah, what? You came here for the feather. Come on, get it. Get it. I'll bother you. I'll fuss you with it. Jump. Jump, you doofus. Jump. It's your job. What if I combine the feather with the laser? Does that interest you? No. Dang it. She won't feather. Well. This cat can be such a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's so inconvenient. <sighs> Knocking my crap down. Kitties. They're of a way. <sighs> cats, everyone. Have you met cats? Um, what am I doing here? Um, I'm going to mark this game interesting. It's definitely interesting. Um, I don't know if it's good, but I do like that it's got that, like, V, 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 uh, kind of energy to it. Um. Soba. Be regular. Be normal, Soba. Whoa.
kind of bops. This is so weird. Why does she jump up here to retrieve the thing and then ignore it once obtained? Cats. Yeah, I set it down and then she goes and pursues it. Animal. Can't hear it? Really? Wait. Has the audio for the last few games been, been unclear? Gosh, I think she's at the point where she's pulling trash out of my trash can. <sighs> Pretty, really? I mean, I've been trying to balance it so it will be quieter than me. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little quiet. Just not like straining to hear it quiet. Do you want to cheat? Wow, that's so many cheats. Wow, this is such a verbose trainer. Cool. Infinite lives. No. Yeah, I'll just do the rest. Okay. So M to take or drop, space bar to hover, and then Q and S for music. Yeah, I can't tell if she's dying. Okay, I assume she's dying. Well, the music could be better. Hmm. This game is not good. I have turned the music off. Yeah, so I think every time she starts spinning like that, I think that's supposed to be a death. And uh, this game sucks ass. This game is terrible. Wow. Yeah, it's basically operation. Touching anything will kill you. Ah, check it out. It's a, uh, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, uh, oh god, I can't think, I can't think of a joke right now. I'm worn out from Thanksgiving. It's a British video game enemy, okay? Alright, yeah, that game kind of sucked. I'm gonna move on from that. That wasn't very good. Uh, Dynamite Dan. Gosh, this looks like a ZX Spectrum port. I wonder if it is. Dynamite Dan ZX Spectrum. It sure is. I think anytime you see a game uh, that has like primary colors almost exclusively, you're probably looking at a ZX Spectrum port. And anytime you see a game that uses a lot of in-between colors um, that, are, that aren't primaries, then you might be looking at a uh, you might be looking at a uh, 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 an, an exclusive. And uh, it makes perfect sense, but it's still fascinating. Also, um, yeah, acrylic, you're right. Um, there was a lot of stuff going on in the 80s that's been utterly forgotten in in every sense. Uh, let's see. Dryeth. Doryeth. This one, I think, we'll find was not on the ZX Spectrum. And that appears to be the case. Hall the Mountain King. Yawn. Oh, this is another Ian Gray game. Uh, I believe he programmed A Fistful of Bucks. So this sucks. I'm excited for this to be just terrible. Oh, and it does not disappoint. 
the dragon, though. Hello. That's the dragon. Okay. How do I fight mans, though? Yeah, now we just go down, down, down. It just got much louder! Wow, why? Ah, oh, this sucks! Ow! Oh! So, but you need to move. Over there would be good. Why did the music suddenly just get really loud? And, like, bad. The controls for this suck so much ass. I think that's supposed to be a... Wait a minute. Spells? Oh, this requires... You gotta use the keyboard keys to play this game. And of course, I can't get a manual. They all seem to be lost to time. Oh, boy. Oh, let's play something different. You are Davy, king of the wild frontier. The Crystal Frog. Critical Mass. Oh, I love Mass Effect. What's my favorite type of sandwich? I don't know. I don't have anything like that. I like sandwiches. That dragon was very friend-shaped. Decision in the desert absolutely sounds like election coverage. You're fully correct. Soba. Soba, what are you doing? Soba, you're causing problems. You know, this music is kind of music. I don't know. It's all right. Soba is once again here. Yeah, you know what I have not been paying attention to is that some of these games start out with a summary of the manual. I need to actually think about that because this one, for instance, tells you exactly how to play the game. How to ultimate play the game, if you will. Hmm. This game looks really complex. I am petting Soba. I am rubbing her. She's ignoring me in favor of rubbing on the uh, 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 the feather on a, on a stick. She really wants it. But the thing is, she can just have it if she wants. But if I try and actually play with her, she just ignores it. But see, this she likes. There we go. There you go. Oh, you like that? She likes this. Gosh, she's irritating. She can be so irritating, this cat. Come on, come on, grab it, 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 Come on, come on. Oh, she's got her paw on the string. Paw on the string, paw on the string. Grab it, bite it, bite it. Vicious hunter. 
Gosh, she's strange. Don't bite my headphones. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, Soba! <laughs> she's walking away and she's tangled up in it and it's just coming with her. Fine, you know what? Go ahead. Oh, no. It's all wrapped around her and she looks so bedraggled. Can I get a picture of this? Oh my god, the nonsense. The nonsense that's going on right now. Nature's perfect killing machine. I don't understand why she wouldn't play with it when I was tugging on it. She'll pull garbage out of my trash can, and she'll look at the stick, and she'll get up on the desk to frob the stick, but this is the first time I've seen her, like, spend more than a few seconds looking at the, uh, looking at the, uh, the feather. And it's because she's completely wrapped up in it. My God, Soba, do you need help? <laughs> okay, she finally got she finally got unwrapped, I think. But now let's see what happens. What occurs now? Why? You took the feather. Now what? You want a beer? Gamer cat. She's RGB. Snuffles. You've just been snuffled. I'm I regret to inform you there is no cure. Flump? You gonna flump? Will you flump? Uh, that's a beer can. So it would have been a lot worse than it's just a soda. You're being snuffled. You're being snuffled. It's lethal. It's a terminal condition. That right there is a cat. Well, I'm saying it's a beer can because that means it's worse. If she had knocked it over, it would have made my entire desk reek of beer, which has happened several times. I couldn't see the L in that for a second, so I thought you said snuffing. Like you... Well, I don't know. No, uh, I gave these cats catnip once. And I'm afraid to do it again. And if you think I'm joking, I'm not being hyperbolic. Uh, I'm actually afraid to give them catnip again. Their reaction was so violent. Um, they got so messed up on catnip that they were so out of control, I was actually worried. I've never seen... Well, that sure is the smell of burning. Where's that coming from? <sighs> that is a really strong smell. Uh, folks, give me, uh, just a moment. I just say, gotta be sure that everything's okay.
everything is fine. Um, I have my uh, my window open, and uh, our I think one of our neighbors has a burn bin. Um, so you know maybe I'm inhaling like mercury right now, but uh, as long as the house isn't on fire, I don't care. All right. Yes. <laughs> Soba is still here. Okay, the little car driving around and intersecting the UI is extremely cute. He's just a little guy. Wow. Huh. Holy crap, they're not kidding about the uh, controls being sensitive. Oh, come on. It is difficult to avoid the enemies. I'm an Amogus. Or not an Amogus. Actually, I'm the... Uh, uh, there's a meme. There's a meme joke here. Wait, do I have to walk without rhythm? Am I trying to avoid the worm right now? I think I am. Uh, so supposedly, I'm, I'm trying to pick up like a new ship. And uh, I think I'm supposed to follow the arrow down there to find it. So... Oh. Uh, Soba, that's not, um... not a convenient location, if I'm honest. What the hell? It keeps directing me... Wah! Wah! I failed. Um, eh, that game was kind of intriguing, but, eh, eh, I don't know about that. Uh, let's play Cops and Robbers. No, I've played this before. Yeah, I've played this before, and it is really, yeah, I played this before, it was super janky. Whoa! Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, wow, this looks ridiculous, and then I realized that it's a it's a Sega game of all things. Damn. Oh, so let me show you what's about to happen. I'm moving my mouse cursor, and she's about to get herself thrown off the desk. She is doing the. The hard tail whips. You about to get in trouble, Soba? Are you about to get in a lot of trouble? You about to get yelled at? Or are you being a good cat? I mean, you're in the way, but you're kind of being a good cat. Uh, if I move that, she can see a little bit better. See, normally, um, she's been doing this very annoying thing where she bats at the mouse cursor, um, which, of course, is going to damage it, uh, going to damage my screen. So I cannot allow her to do this. Uh, she can't just be allowed to, to, to commit crimes like that. But boy, howdy, is she ever watching that mouse cursor. Ba-ba-da, ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba. Oh, she's hunkered. She hunkering. Well, hunkering is a 
less inconvenient. Anyway, this game looks absolutely remarkable for a C64 game. These graphics are damn Oh, Soba, you're in the way. Soba. I'm going to move the window to the right. There we go. All right. Oh, interesting. I get it. Huh. Yeah, it is a blatant DK clone, but that's okay. We don't mind. Where? Well, Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Pop, pop, pop. Someone's going to get in trouble. Oh, she is investigating the video game character is what's going on right now. She is snuffling this knockoff Mario. Okay, I like that this snake has a reverse gear. Ah, oh, almost. Yeah, this is very much Sonic 3D Blast. I agree. Um, I gotta say, like, this isn't necessarily the best game I've ever played, but other than the character sprite, the graphics are incredible for the 64. You know? Wah. 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 Oh. You're approaching me? Wah. Wah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure this got ported all over the place. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm just impressed by the specific... Because, so... Okay, the deal is that with... With computer games of this era... As far as I can tell, they were all kind of copying each other. So there's, like... There's art styles that are unique to the platform and kind of, um, uh, oh, there she goes. Bad girl off the desk. Bad cat. Anyway, there's art styles and, and techniques that are unique to the platform. But when you see ports, uh, you see a couple things. Um, you see, uh... <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, sorry. Give me a second. Okay, brain. With ports, you see imported art styles that have been translated to the, the local capabilities of the platform. So the ZX Spectrum games uh, look like this, for instance, with hard... Uh, this one here... Commando by Capcom. So obviously this came out for oh, let's see. Did this come out for the Famicom? I think I uh before this? I suspect this is a port from the Famicom. Or at least inspired by the Famicom. Um let's take a look. Uh oh, interesting. Oh right, right, right. It, No, I'm sorry. Commando was a an arcade game first. Sorry, apologies. But Wikipedia says it came out in 1985. This says that this came out for Commodore 64 in 1984. And yes, by Capcom, published by Elite, and you play as Super Joe. But then that can't be right. Yeah, versions were released for various home computers and video game consoles. So yes, that makes sense. But how can this game be from 1984? So I'm suggest I am suspecting that the dates on these ROMs are wrong. I am checking to see if I can find 
Uh, yep. The dates on these ROMs are not reliable. Crap. Because it looks like this was actually released in 1985 or possibly 86. No, 85. Because it got the British Golden Joystick Award. Huh. All right. Anyway, um, but this particular version of it, I feel just due to the, the saturation of the graphics, it feels very likely that this was actually ported from the ZX Spectrum. I don't feel like looking into it. Seems like a lot of work. Ugh, another isometric game. Chicken Chase. Oh, I've played this before. Right? Sorry, I had to kneel for a minute because I have knee problems. Helps me pop the patella. <sighs> oh, wow. Yeah, this was cracked in 2017. So the look how tight the graphics are. Uh, or the, the graphic design here is. You can't read this without pronouncing it the Caves of Oberon. I think I played this for another platform. Oh, 2014. Whatever. It's clearly a 2010s crack. Okay. This game takes you to the year 2107. The modern spaceships are exploring the solar system. <laughs> C. Kramer. I don't know who else that could be. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the game. Oh, shit. The game has started. I did not realize this. What? Wait. What? What? Has the game not started yet? Whoa! Creepy! Yeah, I, I, I love... Uh, uh, oh, jeez. Antichamber. So, like... Am I playing the game right now? I'm not sure what's happening. Based on the screenshots, during gameplay, the ship is supposed to scroll the, uh, the current step. Gratul, atul, 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 atul. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm outside the game world. I've left. I've left the world. And I think that we're sneaking into non non game memory. I think we're interpreting some program code. Oh or it looped around. Whoa. Whoa. I don't even know what to think what has just happened what have i done wait k 
Okay, I tried run stop. That didn't do it. Am I in purgatory? Did I die? There was a text intro. We bypassed it. And now we're just here. This is where we are. This is what's happening now. I'm certain this is not the game. I've done something. I think Bennett Foddy is going to start rambling at you at any moment. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to interact with the world. For sure. Oh. I'm re I'm restarting the game. I'm going to run it again with no Cheats. Loading. Ready. Run as far away as you can. Okay. Fuel. I'm just going to hit start. We're going to play normal puzzles. Okay. But now I can interact with things. But I can still just fly through the walls. What about this one? You know, maybe... Nope, now this one works. What? Okay, so I'm looking at a long play on my other screen here. This computer is supposed to have something in it. Oh, there we go. That's very British. Do I... 
What do I do? Oh, okay. Computer reports total serious damage. Red equals what? What? Oh. Okay. This is so weird. I think I was just in hell for a while. The Caves of Oberon. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they didn't return to their original view, Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. All right, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. 
Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B-game. It's built almost entirely out of bound and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength. Trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in Sexy Hiking is real. The obstacles in Sexy Hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened, because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash, but only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. a lot of progress that's a big <laughs> frustration a real punch in the gut go to hell bennett farty
I think it's incredible that Bennett Foddy basically was a guy who realized that someday people would talk about him the way they talk about like Will Wright um, or, or Peter Molino and went, you know what? I'm going to get out ahead of this. I'm going to be as pretentious as possible before they have a chance to call me pretentious. And it worked. I think it's amazing that Bennett Foddy managed to hide a podcast inside of a video game um, and got us all to listen to it. I mean, he wasn't wrong, but I'm still impressed that he did it. There we go. There's 3D models of breakfast. Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan Magazine, Green Screen, Shia LaBeouf, banned snuff scenes on Live League. Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. Oh. Nope. Sorry about that. And there it is. Happen again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. Well, right, but the difference is that nobody would take David Cage seriously. Or at least, God willing, nobody would. thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. I think he updated this and added a bunch of new shit, because I, I'm pretty sure I had listened to every single failure message in this, and I these are new ones. So at some point since release, the guy decided to add new ways to irritate you.
Sneakers was better than War Games, I, I gotta say. But War Games did give us the line. As far as dumb hacker movies, though, I've always been partial to Masterminds, which most people have never even heard of, which is remarkable because I think it had Patrick Stewart in it. It was Patrick Stewart, right? Wasn't it? Or am I thinking of something else? Maybe it's someone else in the same genre. They should remake this in VR. It's probably been done. The thing is, this is the kind of game where you can only speedrun it. There is no normal playthrough of this. You're either speedrunning it, or you aren't playing it at all. Because, essentially, in order to progress, you have to be doing things that don't look possible. The soul would have no rainbow, had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. <clears throat>
everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland things? The pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. It is very, very difficult to survive once you're here, is the thing that I remember from having played this before. Oh. Like that particular gotcha is very hard to get out of. I feel within me a peace above all earthly dignities, a still and quiet conscience. William Shakespeare. If anyone's ever gotten soft locked in getting over it, I mean properly soft locked. You know, like character cannot move. Like the whole nine yards. Nah, we're still playing Caves of Oberon. Just in my mind. See, I had a long play going on my other monitor. It just ended. So, I was still playing Caves of Oberon. And, in a sense, I still am. Oh. 
know how old Bennett Foddy is. Maybe he remembers games like Caves of Oberon. And there it is. That you will ever feel better. But this is not true. You're sure to be happy again. And knowing this, truly believing it, will make you less miserable now. Abraham Lincoln. Forty-three. So yeah, I mean, he would have caught the tail end of the like Commodore ZX Spectrum era, right? Maybe even more than the tail end. Yeah, this is not me playing, getting over it. This is still Caves of Oberon. We're playing Caves of Oberon right now. Definitely. You know, someone said how sweaty is his bucket, but, like, his bucket's apparently full of water because it's actually a cauldron. So, I think that answers your question. Maybe it's, maybe it's sweat. You know, I guess it could be maybe it's sweat. Maybe that's how sweaty he is. For the record, I am actually playing this right now. I'm I'm just being ridiculous about it. Okay. Now this one. Oops. Okay, there we go. When games were new, they wanted a lot from you. Daunting you, taunting you, resetting and delaying you. Players played stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly, a quick fix for the fickle, some tricks for the clicks of the feckless. But that's not you, you're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. one's hard. I think this one's hard. No. Now I know, most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. That's culture too. Bennett Foddy just insulted all of you. Are you going to stand for that?
Yes, he he just shit talked everyone watching this. But on the off chance that you're playing this, what I'm saying is, trash is disposable, but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable. What's the feeling like? Are you stressed? I guess you don't hate it if you got this far. Feeling frustrated? It's underrated. Don't people call this area orange hell? An orange is sweet, juicy fruit locked inside a bitter peel. That's not how I feel about a challenge. I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. It's grapefruit. It's licorice. It's the only physics object in the game, I believe. <sighs> and there it is. That was the orange. Marijuana? We talking about weed at this time? It's always a good time to smoke weed. Sure, smoke weed in honor of it. Make a sacrifice. Blood wine, let's go. But here's the thing. Don't do it for my sake. Because I ain't even mad. You know how many times I've had to redo stuff? At this point, it's just normal. If you're not redoing, you're not working. Several years before this game came out, I discovered how to not care if a game wasted my time unless I wanted to. It made me stronger than everybody else.
12 hours. Man, I don't know. I don't think I was ever that slow at this game. <laughs> the only way you can be that slow at this game is to either have really bad uh, spatial perception, which is fair, and I respect that, or no patience, in which case you should work on that. Because, see, look how fast I got back to where I was. And if you get mad, that'll never happen. What was that, 10 minutes? Maybe. And there we go. <sighs> and there we go. Gone again. Stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. You don't need to consume any kind of drugs. This is just life. Events are occurring. Don't worry about it. Or you can smoke if you want to. To live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. Friedrich Nietzsche. That's fair, AV Fusion. I will keep that in mind. That might actually work. Life is a mosaic of pleasure and pain. Grief is an interval between two moments of joy. Peace is the interlude between two wars. You have no rose without a thorn. The diligent picker will avoid the pricks and gather the flower. Satya Sai Baba. Yeah, this game... I don't know if this game got Game of the Year when it came out, but it should have. I think this is one of the best games of the past decade. Assuming it is the past decade, this did this come out after 2011? I think it did, but I can't be sure. Wait, are you saying this came out in 2017? No way. You'll be back here again and again. Avenge and repent until you've ascended. Or until you're contented. Mm-hmm. God, I love this game. Sorrow is my own yard, where the new grass flames as it has flamed often before, but not with the cold fire that closes round me this year. William Carlos Williams. Oh, I haven't played this in too long. I should have played it again. I never finished it. I don't think I ever will. Yeah, Stanley Parable is great. 
2018, that, uh, I don't know, it could have been that long or it could have been before that because I thought I played this not too long after it came out. Oops. Office Depot has those Black Friday deals. God. Oops. You know, I feel like I used to have a strategy for this where I actually pushed off from the other set of stairs there. There we go. That's right. You know what? I did used to launch myself off this thing. <laughs> Do you think Homer Simpson could smoke marijuana? Do you think Homer could inhale the burning leaves of the marijuana plant and become high? I think about it often. I think he could do it quite easily. Oh, there it goes! Buddy Weed! Marijuana, baby. Yowza, bowza. See, that's an interesting thing to me. I love speedrunning. I celebrate every GDQ, but I can't watch the actual streams. Showing patience and then attacking, scraping, 
been flapping and snagging. I understand that that's like 99% of what streamers do. The actual like final composed performance where they're explaining everything that they're doing. That's a once a year thing for maybe a, you know, a few dozen of the people in this community. And m by and large, what they're doing is just grinding and grinding and grinding. The saddest of these. It might have been. John Greenleaf. And it's a shame because, like I said, you know, I, I love the community. I love what they're doing. I, I love that people are doing this. But the fact that it consumes endless hours. I mean, I, I, I can't get myself to watch a movie. You know, I can't get myself to make two hours of, of time uh, for... You know, I've never seen... I've never seen any of the big-name Westerns because I'm aware of them, and I go, oh, I should watch that. I have the ability, for reasons we won't discuss, to watch virtually any movie I want within seconds. Minutes, let's say. It can only mean that you have no respect for them. Andre Tarkovsky. The number of two-hour blocks of time in my life that I don't use for anything productive is immeasurable. Every single day I waste two hours. Why don't I fill that with a movie? Answer, I am a coward. I am terrified of spending my time the wrong way. So much of the time, I don't spend it at all. That said... I still can't imagine the hundreds or thousands of hours it takes to get good at a speed run. That's just inconceivable to me. And I guess my take is it's awesome that there are people out there who can enjoy that because if not then a lot of the speedrunners probably wouldn't do it it'd be boring to do it alone and you know less profitable which matters fortunately wish it didn't but uh it's weird it's so alien to me i can't i can't imagine allocating that much of my life to something in that way it's just inconceivable to me how the math makes sense. Uh, you know, I could be reading Wikipedia going, I don't know if I believe that, and then going to Google Books to try and confirm it, you know, at any given moment. Uh, Ooh, that is spicy. What's interesting about this game is how fair it is. In the sense that a fair game is one wherein when you fail, you say, wow, I screwed up and not, wow, this game sucks. Now, as far as I can tell, this game is quite fair. It seems to me that whenever I fall down, it's because I screwed up. What's odd about that is the physics seems so complicated and so unintuitive that I can't really be sure that's true. It just feels like it's true. Maybe the game is unfair. I don't know. Maybe it's unreasonable to think anyone could do this. 
And everybody who's ever achieved it has done it through pure luck or just pure rote. Maybe it doesn't make any sense. Well, Bennett thought he stopped talking, so someone has to. See, your player physics don't change, and the world doesn't change, but what's critical, in my opinion, is that the player physics are so complicated, they're so precise, the tiniest error can result in the most unexpected events. It's so unintuitive. There we go. Like, I don't feel like the physics of the hammer make intuitive sense, honestly. See what I mean? You know, I've played, well, Steam would tell me, but probably several dozen hours of this game. And yet, don't hate I the can't player. seem hate the game. Ice tea. When to the sessions of sweet silent thought I summon up remembrance of things past I sigh the lack of many a thing I saw and with old woes new wail my dear time's waste William Shakespeare sonnet 30 <clears throat> Oh <laughs> Turns out my leg was asleep. Who knew? Be right back.
Heavens to Murgatroyd. Uh, yeah. Good video game. Big, big fan. Uh, it looks like I've been streaming for four hours. That's a pretty good run. I'm going to go ahead and take off. Uh, thank you all. Enjoy your weekend. Be kind to each other. And uh, thank you for coming along. I appreciate it. Have a good night.